Hey loves, Jay here with a reading for the Gemini New Moon for all zodiac signs. So this is for the collective. Let's talk about how the new moon in Gemini on June 6th is going to impact you. It's going to bring a wave of fresh energy and new beginnings. So make sure that you're setting your intentions because it's going to impact all zodiac signs. Okay, so as far as the fire signs, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is going to be about communication and learning for you. And it's going to activate your sector of communication learning um, it might feel a surge of you might feel a surge of curiosity and a desire to connect with others through intellectual exchange so embrace the new ideas explore different perspectives and express yourself clearly okay earth signs taurus virgo capricorn the new moon shines a light on your values and resources so earth signs might reevaluate their priorities and how they manage their finances or possessions so it's a good time to declutter both physically and mentally and realign your resources with your true values. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This new moon is practically a birthday for Gemini signs. Expect heightened energy and a renewed sense of self and a desire for connection. Air signs might find themselves redefining their identity or seeking deeper connections in their relationships. Okay, and this new moon is all about relationships. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is the sign of communication. Okay, so pay attention to your triggers, your traumas, the love, the people that are around you during this new moon. For water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this new moon is going to stir your emotional waters. For um, you might find you might find yourself reflecting on past experiences or hidden emotions. So embrace introspection and explore practices like meditation or journaling to process these feelings. That is going to be very important for you here, water signs. And this can be a powerful time for healing and releasing emotional baggage. And if you are a Pisces, be sure to check out my um, Pisces bonus channel. That is, I'm going to leave in the description below. And I also place up here for you as well for all of my Pisces sun, moon, rising, Venus, or if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart. That is, uh, we talk about in that reading here for the Gemini new moon, that some of you are working through ancestral traumas as well. Okay, so let's hop into um, this for the collective. We're going to go, I'm going to break this down by fire, earth, air, and water signs. Um, what, what this new moon is bringing for you. So let's get into that here. I'm going to pull your cards out. I'm going to do uh, what this new moon is bringing, is bringing you, what your energy is going to be during this new moon, and how you can best focus your intentions during this time as well. Okay? So let's get your cards out here. Messages for the collective, please. All right. We'll take that. We're going to be starting with the fire signs, as I said. We'll go into Earth. Then air signs. And then our water signs. Okay. So for our Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, um, what this new moon is bringing you here, we have the hangman. So interesting. Okay. So what this moon is bringing you during this time um, is really stepping into not neglecting your spiritual developments or practices. Okay, so I'm feeling that this is also a time for you to forgive. So if you're needing to forgive yourself, other people, whatever this is, this is that time for you to do that. Okay, so this is what this is bringing you an opportunity to make a change, to communicate, to get creative, to move past something that has been leaving you um, stuck and stagnant in some sort of way. Okay, your energy during this new moon, we have the four of cups. Okay, so some of you have been feeling a little um, unhappy or maybe even disappointed or maybe even in, in a victim state here. 
And so this is an opportunity for you to open up. And so because what we have here with what the moon is bringing you is an opportunity to forgive, an opportunity for you to look within. This is what this Four of Cups is saying. It's a good time for you to journal, meditate, whatever this may be, so that you can get back on track because some of you have been isolated or secluded from things and people because of whatever. Some of you may have been angry. You've been feeling out of sorts. You've just been disconnected in some sort of way. And Spirit is trying to offer you answers to some of the questions that you may have. So this is an opportunity for you to reevaluate. So some of you may be feeling like you want to be alone during this time. And there's nothing wrong with that. But just make sure that you're working through your issues so that when you come outside again, okay, that you have worked through some of the things that you've been holding on to. So forgiveness is key. Some of you have been... Um, dealing with uh, a Pisces possibly in the past or right now as well. Um, did I say Pisces? I didn't mean to say just Pisces, but I meant to say like a water sign in general. Okay. could be dealing with a water sign here, Cancer, Energy, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't matter, but I definitely feel like you may have been, you may be closed off to something. Okay. So your energy is feeling disconnected and closed off during this time. Um, but, how you can manifest, best manifest your intentions during this time. And also keep in mind to make sure that you are setting your intentions during this time. The moon is very potent three days before the day of and three days after. So make sure you take advantage of this time to work through your relationships. And most important, your relationship with yourself here. Okay, fire signs. So how you can best focus on your intentions during this new moon, okay, is to... Think analytically, rationally as well. Some of you are thinking so strongly from emotion. And there's nothing wrong with thinking from emotions. But some of you may, may need to take a step back first and just sort of see the big picture of things so that you can articulate yourself. Because some of you are finding yourselves in fiery situations and that you're just sort of popping off and just emotional instead of really seeing the bigger picture, okay? So this is a time for you to get disciplined with whatever it is you're trying to implement into your life, okay? So the logic analytic is 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 very um, important right now as well. And some of you that have been closed off, this is an opportunity for you to find that ambition that some of you have been, you've been storing. I'm here in spirit saying, You've been storing it, okay? So if some of you have been in a mode of feeling lazy, okay? Some of you have been feeling uncomfortable in your body. Some of you have been blaming others for your mishaps, that victim mentality. And that's not to say that's not everyone, but I'm feeling for some of you. And this is not to get down on you at all. This is just saying to become aware of it so that you can move past it, okay? This is time for you to take action. So take action on your intentions, okay? All right, fire signs. So let's move into the earth signs here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What this new moon is bringing you during this time. Okay, make sure that you set good intentions because some of you could be setting the wrong intentions. Okay, during this time. So pay close attention to what you're focusing or what you're putting your attention um, on. Okay, some of you may not feel like you're clear in your goals or how you want to move forward in a relationship or in a job, or if you want to be in this business or in this job, you're just a little feeling a little bit unclear. I'm feeling a little bit unstable, but don't make any hasty decisions, okay? Don't rush into anything is what Spirit is saying, okay? So if you feel the urge to just make a change, take a step back and reevaluate it and see what you have, what's on the line for you is what I'm hearing, okay? What is, the, what is it that's on the line for you and why also are you rushing into things, okay? And it does feel like for some of you that hasty planning, that rushing could just be a normal pattern. This is an opportunity, opportunity for you to sort of slow things down, make a change in how you set your intentions, okay? Your energy during this time, earth signs, is the Ten of Cups here that is coming for you reversed. So some of you may be having some sort of conflict with family, friends, your loved ones. Some of you are feeling conflicted within as well. But there's can there can be some sort of disconnect that it could be happening coming up for you as well. Okay. So this makes me feel like some of you may have a little bit of a chaotic energy. There's a discord somewhere because of so I'm, I'm hearing someone not responding, okay? 
And could it be you not responding or someone's not responding to you? What does that mean in a timely manner or someone's not responding to you in general? Maybe you're waiting on a call for a new job. Maybe you're waiting for someone to respond to a question that you have, whether that is a family member or a friend, and someone is just sort of ignoring you or you feel like this, there's just some sort of disconnect. There's a disunity that's happening for some of you. So you could find yourself in arguments. <laughs> you could find yourself really upset just um you know that it feels like you're not on the same page okay this is why you needing to make sure that your goals are very clear make sure that you're not taking hasty to making hasty decisions so this is this is a reminder to take a step back before you respond okay and <clears throat> so some of you are going to find yourself in that energy of wanting to just you know get it done right then take a step back before you respond okay and how you can best focus on your intentions during this time, the judgment call, okay? So some of you are needing to talk about things. Again, forgiveness is coming up as well. We had the two, uh, well, not I'm thinking of the hangman. That was for the fire signs. But um, for you, earth signs, this is the opportunity for you to give, forgive. This is a, a, a renewing time. Um, so this is where you can do things differently is what I'm hearing, okay? So setting that intention, um, and focusing on how you can do things differently because it feels like however you've been repeating something it isn't working and you may be finding yourself in same situations or things that are very the similar situations that make you feel uncomfortable or you find that people are responding to you in the same way it feels like if that is happening for some of you you may be the common denominator okay and you are needing to take a step back before you respond okay and I can't, I can't express that enough, okay, for those of you that are making really, really fast decisions or responding really, really quickly. Take a step back, slow down, okay? That's how you can focus on your intentions is to slow down, um, get in a place of realizing, in this place of realizing the bigger picture of things, like I've said before, but this is an opportunity for you to renew, to transition, and to forgive. Let's move into air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Six of Cups here. So this is what the new moon is bringing you. So this feeling of nostalgia, happiness, and connecting with people from the past or having conversations with people from the past. There's a level of comfort here. Some of you are visiting your parents, I'm hearing as well, or visiting a childhood home or childhood friends. Like there's a level of, of, of fun that I'm feeling for some of you that may be coming back around as well. I'm also hearing bringing flowers into your house, like so bringing some plant life oxygen into your home as well. But I, I definitely feel like this is a time where you're going to be remembering things, feeling, you know, Feeling. For some of you, this may not all this may not be all good for some of you. What you're remembering, you know, childhood things and really trying to work through things. But I do feel like you're trying to focus on a simple put the simple pleasures of life, and um, you are in this position of um, being compassionate with self and with others and trying to find balance and harmony in your life. So I, I like this energy here. Some of you are going to be in a position of re being able to reciprocate as well. So that's what the end, that's what that's bringing you. It feels like, um, I'm hearing spirit say it is a well-deserved, um, <laughs> a well-deserved energy for you here, air signs, um, of, of that again, nostalgia, comfort, and happiness, and, you know, enjoying those simple pleasures of life, okay, or in life. Your energy during this new moon is the six of pentacles, so look at that. We have two number sixes here. So um, this is about you giving. So for some of you that have been feeling closed off or haven't been getting what you want, you've been giving, your giving and receiving ratio have been off. You've been either giving a lot or receiving too much. There's going to be a balance, like we just said, with the Six of Cups. So we have 6-6. Six, six. Some of you are seeing the number 6-6 six, six as well, which is very synchronistic for some of you. But that is about balance and harmony. It's about symmetry. Okay? So you're, you're integrating something. Okay? It's also connected to your emotions as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But I, do, I definitely feel like this is an opportunity for you to give. So during this time, what can you give? You can give more compassion to yourself, more compassion to others, more love. Maybe some of you are even thinking about um, acts of service as well. Whatever this is, 
this is uh, a giving balancing the scales balancing the giving and receiving ratio ratio okay so sharing with others um, and this is a good thing um, so whatever it is that you're feeling emotionally you can share that with others maybe you can bounce ideas off of family and friends those that are close to you about your goals that you're setting about uh, business ideas um, whatever this is for you here, um, air signs, okay? But I definitely feel some sort of expansion, and, and, and you guys are really focusing on managing your finances as well. For those of you who love to spin, spin, <laughs> this is an opportunity to sort of get organized. So that's the energy that you're feeling during this time of um, just being more char charitable, being more giving, more generous, and really trying to find the balance is very important. And how you can best focus your intentions during this time, the star energy, Aquarius energy here, um, is to not be too pessimistic. Make sure that that negative self-talk, okay, you're releasing that, you're letting go of that. How can you replace that with positive, with positivity, positive energy, with positive people, okay, that you're, you know, surround yourself with as well. So some of you may um, are trying to escape some sort of emotional pain or depression. This is an opportunity for you to share. So this may be an opportunity for you to seek counsel as well so that you can let go of some of the things that you have been holding on to. Okay, so it feels like for those of you who uh, hold on to things and don't want to share and feel like you can get through it on your own, this is an opportunity for you to receive some sort of assistance, right? Let someone give to you, okay? Um, so again, balance is going to be very important during this time. So that's how you can focus your intentions during this time. Okay, water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the Eight of Swords coming up for you. Um, what the um, new moon is bringing you. So for some of the, some of you have been feeling like this mental imprisonment, imprisonment like you've been um, <laughs> you've been held hostage or captive, been taken captive. You've been feeling bound and stuck. And I do feel like this is an opportunity for you to sort of let go of the victim mentality, okay, and let go of the fears and the anxieties some of you have been holding on to. You may have, may have been ostracized in some sort of way. Your character may have been defamed. But I definitely feel like it definitely feels like this is from the past here, water signs. And this could be most recent past for some of you. But I definitely feel like this is a time for you to escape whatever this mental anguish that some of you have been dealing with and to find stability. OK, I'm hearing spirits say find cover. OK, so that that lets me know finding cover lets me know like. Um, you're protected and you need to find that protection as well. Okay, so so this is for me, this means to amplify, to amp up your spiritual practice, okay? To, to un have an understanding and a, a level of communication with your divine beings on how they can protect you, how you can move past some of these old things that sort of been leaving you um, in this place of feeling like you're being held captive. Some of you are just being held captive by your thoughts. And some of you, this may be a physical thing for some of you. But it definitely feels, because there are swords here, this is about communication. This is about your thoughts. These are things that you're holding on to. Okay, so this new moon is bringing you an opportunity for you to become more aware of what you've been holding on to so that you can let it go. Okay, your energy during the new moon, we have the full. So it definitely feels like a new energy that is coming in for you, a new start for you, which I love this energy. So that means that some of you are going to be working through that Eight of Swords energy and letting go of that mental imprisonment energy, um, that, can, that mental, um, the victim mentality, and moving into something where you're feeling like you're limitless, you're, you're in an unlimited potential, which lets me know you're going to be starting a new journey here during this time. So some of you are already in this energy. Some of you are already feeling a shift that is, a, that is happening for you. Some of you are already in that shift because you've already manifested that. So you, I feel like you're in this new phase. You're thinking clearer. You're seeing things clearer. You're not afraid to take the next step. You're not afraid to take take a risk. And this is a beautiful energy that I'm feeling. Okay, so this lets me know that you have dominion over your mind here, air, uh, water signs. Okay, that you have more power than you think. 
because you can move in from mental anguish into a new journey of feeling free, feeling uh, adventurous, and, and creative. So if you've been feeling blocked in any sort of way, that is about to be uplifted. Okay, the color yellow here, I have a little list of colors. And the color yellow is about intelligence, creativity, positivity, clarity, confidence, conscious, and healing. Okay, so a lot of that is coming to you here, uh, water signs. So that is what, uh, that's the energy that you'll be feel, feeling during this time. And lastly, we have the magician showing up for you on how you can best focus your intentions. We move literally from the full to the magician. So there is a spiritual um, upgrade that is happening for you here, water signs, um, or this, you're stepping into this creative power, you're mastering something, you're very excited about this new phase, this new journey that you are embarking upon. This is a very potent time for you to manifest what you want. So get very clear about your intentions here. Um, and what ideas you have to move forward, to put into practice, to put into play, and everything is ready to go. You have everything that you need. Everything is coming together. It's a new beginning. Um, you have control over your mind, okay, is what I'm hearing. Um, and you have power. So you're stepping into your power. You're stepping into your consciousness, your individuality. And I feel like you are now in this position. You're going to be in a position of balancing mind over matter or allowing your heart and your mind to work in accordance which is the beautiful energy more yellow energy for you as we move from the fool to the magi magician so this lets me know you have so much power to release yourself from the fears and the mental anguish that you've been feeling and then there is something new on the other side of this for you okay so make sure that you're setting your intentions with um, intention <laughs> and positivity and love and focusing on your new beginning here, Water Signs, okay? So that is your reading, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe if this resonates. And subscribe and hit that notification bell, the all notification bell. Share this with your family and your friends. Enjoy this Gemini new moon. Pay attention to your relationships and how you show up in them and who needs to stay, who needs to go, all of those good things. I will see you guys very soon for a monthly reading. Many blessings and love and light to you guys. Peace.